I'd just like to pay a tribute to Peter Mahoney, also known as the Wildman. I was shocked to hear of his passing the other day. Uh, the first time I got to know Peter, when I was invited into Liverpool, I think it was February, we him and Sean for a podcast. And I must say, after just a couple of minutes of talking to him, I felt I'd known him all my life. Peter, our wild man, he was, known, was a larger-than-life character, to put it mildly, and he'd make you feel at ease. And he wouldn't be afraid to get his point across or ask any questions. But uh, in the first minute of the podcast, no, even a minute, he says to me, the man's crazy. And I says to him back, no wonder you're called the wild man. But the, po the podcast went brilliant. I think it went on for about two hours. And I felt comfortable and at ease. It was just like three, three, three guys in a pub, just just ch chatting away about everything except the things we were talking about. It was serious, but some of it was funny as well. Before I met Peter, I used to watch a lot of Sean's podcasts, and uh, Peter would be telling his stories about in Mexico and in Arizona, and I, I just thought they were crazy. So. That's why he was called the wild man, because most of the things he done was wild, but they, they were very funny as well. It's such a tragedy that he's been took away at such a young age, and it just puts life into perspective. I would also like to pay my condolences to Peter's wife, all his family, but Sean, who I know has been his childhood friend, I know it'll be hurting Sean very bad. I, I just can't get over it myself. And uh, anybody who's met Peter, I've spoke to Peter, I've spoke to people, it's it's met people, I spoke to him, they can't ha speak highly enough of him. He was a good guy and uh, he'd been out of trouble for many, many years. In fact, I don't even think he left the house that much these days. He was just a family man. So... It's, it's it's just a waste. I'm still in shock to hear about it just now. And uh, Peter had told me that he would love to come up to Glasgow and spend a weekend with me and uh, I'd go out and have a drink. So I would just like to finish this and say, Peter, you've gone but not forgotten, mate. And this is one of the drinks you gave me in the, the podcast. Cheers, mate. Respect, love for Glasgow. Gonna miss you, big man.